This video shows how to set up cylinder heads in the Winfield DSF 1000, 1500, and 2000 fixtures. When unpacking, save the four hold down plates that hold the fixture to the shipping crate. They are used to hold Winfield fixture to your resurfacing machine table. Install the lifting bar in the middle of the fixture with the center holding pins extended. Tighten an additional one half turn after the datum plates touch the lifting bar. Mill or grind minimum off the datum plates. Each time the fixture is removed, the datum plates need to be machined to ensure accuracy of the fixture. Install a spacer bar to hold the two V cradles together. Place the cylinder head in the V cradles. With the intake ports facing you, install the alignment fixture on the head. The movable plates on each end cannot touch the cylinder head. The contact point must be on a flat surface to keep it from slipping. Measure the distance between the movable plates on a setup fixture. Adjust the fixture so the cylinder head will fit between the hydraulic clamp pins and the movable plates will rest on the datum plates. Adjust support chains so the cylinder head can drop slightly when the hydraulic clamp pins are released after resurfacing. Set cylinder head and fixture. Be certain that the adjustable plates rest solidly on the datum plates of the fixture. Note that the bars on the setup fixture are loose to let the movable plates adjust for any twist in the cylinder head. Turning the large knob on each end of the fixture hydraulically expands the holding pins. The holding pins can be turned on or off with the lower valves to control which pins contact the head. The pins need to contact a flat surface on the ends of the head to keep it from moving when resurfacing. After expanding hydraulic locking pins against the head, tighten the fixture an additional one half turn with large handle. Remove head holding fixture. Head is now ready to resurface. After resurfacing, loosen large handle on the end of fixture so head can drop against chains. <laughs> 